Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a new company to share with you guys and gals today. It's Tecto Gear, and I have two knives to show you three versions of this one, and then the next one, oh, oh, hold on to your horses, hold on to your seats. But first, let's check out this one. This is the Tecto F1 Alpha, and this is a USA company. These are made in the USA, assembled in the USA, with globally sourced and United States sourced parts, and we'll take a quick look at this. I I am going to take this version apart here a little bit later in the video, so if you want to see what it looks like on the inside, definitely stick around past this second knife that I'm going to show you. But here's a quick look at it, and man, oh man, does it have texture. Oh yeah, look at that. It is it is perfect, perfect texture to have on your G10. And look at this, reversible pocket clip, plenty of room in there to fit in your jeans. It does sit on top of the G10. You know, an improvement would be as if it was inset, but... No screws sticking out. It has flat screws, so no mushrooms growing in the shade. And is it centered? Yes, it is centered already looking at it. And going down this side, I do like these marks right here. They are nice and grabby. The pocket clip, nice and strong. Goes in and out of the pocket very well. And good looking backspacer. And you do have a glass breaker going on right here. And we'll talk about this tip. Just the tip here in just a second. But you ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh <laughs> yeah, look at that. Would you look at it? <laughs> I can't help it. You know, I have some comments sometimes like, I, I watch your videos so you say that and then I'm out. You know, I think it's fun. I, I've been saying it for so long, I can't help it. It's natural. Look at it. But this is a, it's a good looking knife. It kind of has, it drops, I think, just a hair. I would almost call it a straight back. It's just about as straight back as you can get. But maybe you would call it a modified straight back. Good looking blade. No question as to who makes it. And then as far as sharpening, you are moved out. You do have a sharpening choil. You're moved out away from the plunge grind. Major plus, tech toe. And then you do have some jimping going on right here. The jimping is grabby. It's very, very good jimping. My only suggestion would be is to put another notch up here, maybe two. That way you don't ever have a risk of your finger flying off or missing it when your fingers are cold because that always hurts. But has great action. This has a great detent. It's give it a little bit of gravity to get it shut, and we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll take this one apart. I have three versions. I'll show you the other two in here in just a second, but push button works great. Light switch works fantastic, and you're going to be able to carry this in both pockets, no problem. Now, the pass-through, um, it's not the best in the world. It's certainly not the worst. It is not difficult. I don't have to dig my finger in there. And you do have some nice jimping. I do like that jimping. It helps grab your skin. And you can see right here, I just, I mean, it's it's not difficult whatsoever. Um, I'm not having to dig, but if you look right here, there's not a ton of room for as far as pass-through goes, but I can't complain. It definitely works. I don't, as long as I'm not having to dig my thumb in there, then we're good to go on that. Now, the size of my hand, four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, seven and a quarter. And how does it fit? Very comfortable. No hot spots at all. Let me back out. There we go. So now I'll give you a good look. So you know the size of my hand. Um, nothing, nothing is, is pokey or pointy. Um, this right here, you would expect that it's going to give you problems, but I think the reason that it really doesn't, I can feel it. But the, I think the reason it does it is because it's a slender knife. It's, it doesn't have a really thick profile. And in the pocket, it doesn't take up a lot of real estate. It's very comfortable in the pocket. Let me give you a quick size comparison so you can get a good idea. Here's the QSP Penguin. Everybody should have a penguin. And for another popular knife, the Civivi Elementum. Pivot to pivot, you're right in that great EDC, si EDC size. Now, Tecto, from checking out their website, they do have some more tactical style knives. And you'll re if you like tactical, you will definitely like the next knife I'm going to show you. And this does have a very solid feel. And the thing, one of the things that impresses me about this one is how lightweight it is. But here is the Kaiser Beg Lighter, and this is the new Best Techman Dundee. It's the Dundee. So I'm, I'm trying to pull some out here that, you know, have similar blade shapes, you know, in that range. I don't have a lot of blade shapes exactly like this to compare it to. But here's a couple more. Here's the Rake P801. Now, th this is... <laughs> I know a lot of you right now are saying, hey, I have that knife. There you go. Now you now you get it. And this one, very popular. The Pinion Knives. Oh, it's the Tempest Pinion. I want to call it Pinion Knives, but it is Tempest. I misquoted it. 
This one is a hot, hot item right now. So many folks got in on the pre-order and now these are available. Definitely check this out. I have a video on this bad boy and this bad boy and pretty much most of the knives you'll see in these comparisons. I have just a couple more. Here's the Kaiser Cozy and man, it is cozy. Are you getting my drift here, what I'm showing you? It's the perfect everyday carry size knife EDC size knife and also they are they'll they make a great gift knife too because they this has a very good detent this is the Civivi Elementum button lock now the D2 steel on this is is uh it is listed as rated between 60 and 62 HRC which is uh, pretty impressive and then this coating some folks always wonder about the coating this is the titanium coating so this is tough stuff and it's going to protect that D2 tool steel. So I think you're going to be good to go on that. I do like it. It's a very solid knife. I like the feel of it in my hand. But as I was saying about the weight, it only weighs 3.3 uh, 3 or 3.03 ounces. It's right there at the 3 mark. It has a 3.1 inch blade with, and overall your length is 7.8 inches. I really like it. And here's a couple more versions of it in case, you, uh, in case you're wondering. Here is the carbon fiber, or no, this is the black G10. I can't even see. <laughs> and here is the carbon fiber version. And I'll give you up close look here in just a second. The carbon fiber, I have to say, is very nice. It does, these, these um, lines right here have nice texture and you can see that they're right on top of your liners. And this is a nice, I like this blue touch on the back spacer. That is very nice. Now, all three of these, every pretty much the specs are the same. You just get different materials. Here's a look at their logo which is, that, that's pretty wicked. They sent some stickers I'll be putting in the, in the giveaways, definitely. It says Tecto Gear, yeah, love it. Now, overall, what do I think about it? I think it's a good knife. I like it, it's comfortable. Um, I would say there's only one thing with me personally that is definitely a nitpick, and that is the glass breaker. Now, I'm not personally, this is just me, I'm not a huge fan of glass breakers. And it is nice if you like lanyards and glass breakers, you have both. Now, with me, when I open and close a knife, I tend to seat it, the butt of it, in my palm. Now, when you do that and you have a sharp glass breaker, well, you can imagine that I am feeling that sharp point when I see it in the in the palm of my hand. Now, it's not terrible. You know, it's nothing to cry home and write home to mommy about, but it, it is uh, something to consider if, if you uh, tend to do that. Now, if you open your knives and you open them sideways and you don't stick it, <laughs> if you don't stick it in your hand, then that's not going to be something to, to be concerned about. But I, I would say the one thing that I would want everyone to know is that if you do dig your knife into your hand hard, that you are going to feel that point of the glass breaker. All right, are you ready for this next one? Let's get it out. <laughs> and in all fairness, let me, let me give you a good look at the black G10. Because this is a all blacked out. A lot of you like the all blacked out versions. So that is pretty, pretty sharp. The only thing is not blacked out is right here and right here. But other than that, it is good looking. It has that same really, I mean, this is just superb texture on this G10. Just giving you a quick look. All right, now let's get the other one out. Now, all three of these come in one of these uh, belt loop cases. You can use it or not. They they have pocket clips, so that's not even an issue. But if you want to carry it on your bag, you know, put it on some mollies or something like that, or carry it on your belt, you're good to go with that. Now, are you ready for this? So they have a collaboration with Humvee. And yes, I am talking about the vehicle. This is the Tecto Humvee. Oh, 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 what'd you look at it? <laughs> and look at this. It has the grill going on right there. And check that out. Is that not the coolest thing ever? You could get the black or the silver blade with this. It has a D2 blade with the matte titanium plating. I'll show you that here in just a second. I can say that the button has excellent grip. This is an OTF, an automatic, or a switch blade, however you want to, however you want to term it. And check, I love how they did this. Just like the grill of the Humvee, they have the, the marks here, the marks here, down here, up here. It's almost like they put jimping in the handle and it does grab. I mean, this is spectacular. My finger will not move. That's how, that's how good of a grip you get with this bad boy. And before I deploy it, this button, Look what they've done. See how it, is, it has two different slopes? It has a 63 degree, 63 degree push slope and 37 to retract it. And it works very well. You ready to see this blade? Pow! <laughs> now that, ooh, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a fan of OTFs, automatic knives, switch blades, whatever you want to call it, tactical blades, 
This one is going to be right up your alley. This is the first OTF on the channel. Very first one I've ever shown on the channel. And wow, it is very solid. <laughs> I can tell you. You don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about what kind of bearings are in it, you know. And, and as far as the blade, let me give you an up close, up close look. The blade is sharpened on both sides. So be careful with this bad boy because it is not messing around and you have some serrations down here and there's your humvee which i think is the coolest thing you know when i saw it's the humvee knife i'm like okay did some company just call it the humvee no they're actually in collaboration which i think is spectacular made in the usa so anybody that is a fan and it it is not difficult i mean it is solid but it is not hard to retract and deploy this blade look at that Woo! I don't have to worry about detent or anything like that because it's in and it's out. Now, this is not going to puncture through something. This is, this is like OTFs, like I believe most OTFs are, where if you, if you have it in front of something and you push it, it's, it has a safety. It's not going to continue through. Then you can just fling it out to, to re-engage it. I would, I would mention, check your local knife laws. You can go to kniferights.org. They have a list of all the states and, and all that goodness, goodness in there, out there, so you can know what your knife laws are and what state you are. Here you have a glass breaker. That glass breaker is not an issue for me because the size is, it's very comfortable. It fits my hand like a glove. There are no hot spots. The pocket clip works fantastic. It is a one-sided pocket clip and you can see where it goes. Uh, let's see if I can give you a good look here. Depends on my lighting. There you go. Goes right on the inside. You have no screws sticking out. There's nothing sitting on top. So I have no issues whatsoever getting this in and out of the pocket. So if you want a knife that you can get out quickly, <laughs> you're, you're definitely going to be able to do that. Now, not having had reviewed any other OTFs, I can just tell you that it works flawless. I've never had it not work properly. I've carried it for a little while since I've had it. I've had these, I don't know, a month or so. I, I don't, I don't remember how long it's been, but they are, they are very solid. And if you have a large size hand, you know the size of my hand, holding it like this is comfortable. If I wanted to hold it up higher, you can see that if you have large hands, this is going to be super comfortable. And here, you know, your glass breaker slash attention getter. And if you like a lanyard, if you want to put a lanyard on it, there is a hole in the end of the pocket clip. So you do have that option to put a lanyard if that's, if that's what you like to do or that's your thing. So let's go ahead and take apart the F1 Alpha, and then we'll come back and wrap it up. All right, you know what? I think we're off to a good start. Looks like we have a D-shaped pivot. Oh, and by the way, you know, uh, Friday nights, Bees Blades live at the Hive. All right. If you have any questions about these the knives you've seen in this video or any of the things I use, or if you want to see size comparisons with these knives, we have the knife cam. Every Friday night, we have a blast. We all get together, talk about knives or food or whatever comes up. And let's see. Oh, okay. So that was, that was easy. That was very easy. So there's your pivot, your pivot screw, which is very nice. And we have so much fun on Fridays. Definitely come and hang out with us. Now I am excited about some of the new knives that we have coming up on the channel. Um, I'm excited about this knife right here. I'm excited about the two that, the, well, actually, this is four knives in this video, and this is a perfect time to mention that I have updated playlists. So if you want to see knives that are, say, $30 and under, or you want to see knives or videos with multiple knives, I have videos that, I have a playlist that shows Videos that have multiple knives in them, like this one. This one's going to go on that because there are four knives in this video. So let's take a look here. It is very clean, very nice, very, very nice. And do we have a D-shaped pivot? What do we have going on here? Do we have a D? There we go. We got the D. <laughs> it's hard to show in this light. I turned the light down a little bit, just trying out some different things for you today. And that that is a huge plus right there, right off the bat. We have a D-shaped pivot. Now, this really doesn't need cleaned. I'm just going to go ahead just for just for the sake of it because it's fun, because I like to do it. And it'll only take a minute. I have the feeling uh, this is going to be one of those knives that is easy to take apart. I'm going to line the D line the D back up. There's no mistake in which way you have it. So there you go. And you know I don't really have to clean it anymore. I am going to put just just a wee bit of KPL on it. And I have a, I have a 10% uh, discount code to KPL Knife Pivot Lube. Definitely go get you some of that. And I you know I have links to knife maintenance and all that good stuff down in the description. And if you don't know where the description of the video is, 
you'll see that it'll say show more. And you click that and then it's like, oh, it's a whole world, a whole new. <laughs> Don't get me started saying But, you know, I'm not going to go ahead and clean the rest of this. Everything already has lube on it. I'm just going to leave it like it is. You get the idea. If you want to see a little more in-depth on the uh, disassemblies, you can go check out my playlist. I have a bunch of disassemblies that you can go check out. I am going to put a dot of KPL Heavy in the uh, pivot in the pivot and <laughs> the detent hole and it is a big detent hole whoo it's got a big hole and i'm just going to put a little bit out there and it'll it'll work its way in and i did see the uh oh, okay there it went i saw the back spacer a minute ago go rolling and i was worried i was going to lose it so let me put this dude back in and yeah i'm not sure how i like working in, in this different lighting so i might switch it back but i figured the cork might show less of a, uh, a contrast so there we go. We've got our pivot back in here. There's our stop pin, a little bitty stop pin. Put it back where it goes right up here. Now, if you like to take care of your knives, you like to take them apart and clean them. I can tell you that it doesn't get much more simple than this. Just like that. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about putting any extra KPL on there. Um, yeah, look at that. It, it is that simple and you're good to go. I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? <laughs> um, Wow, okay, is that all we had to do? All right, let's put it back together. We'll, I'll find out here in just a second if, if, I, if I forgot something. But, so Tecto, I had never heard of them. They reached out and said, hey, would you like to check out a couple of our knives? And I was like, you know what? Yes, I would, absolutely. And I have to say, I'm impressed. You know, I've never carried and never used an OTF. Um, I've never learned or been into uh, like tactical self-defense with a knife. And I'm assuming that's what the OTFs are for, but not necessarily. Uh, there's a lot of folks that use an OTF because you might have, you might just like the way it deploys. That's the that's one thing about the knife in the knife industry, the knife uh, collecting and the enthusiast. It, it doesn't have to have a particular person or a purpose. It can be used for whatever you want because you enjoy it. That's why we collect knives. That's why there are so many knife enthusiasts is because there are so many knives and so many options different strokes for different folks but there you go so there it is back together again it is super smooth and absolutely solid are we centered um let me tighten it up just a little bit we're just a tad off are we centered yes we are centered it is smooth oh yeah let's go to the big screen and we're back so the action is who it is complete drop shutty down to your fingernail all day long and it is centered we are definitely good to go yeah i like it so this is the f1 alpha the black g10 or yeah and this is the the f1 alpha in the od green and then we have the f1 alpha in the carbon fiber and let me move these dudes up now these are the flagship of tecto gear but whoo for all you otf lovers oh, oh do, do you want a humvee this is your chance. Do you own a Humvee? Hey, if you own a Humvee, I would say you would probably have to have the Humvee knife, right? So tell me, hey, you loyal subscribers and channel members and loyal watchers, let viewers, let me know what you think about these. Do you have an opinion one way or another? And if you don't, hey, that's fine. Say something anyway. It helps support the channel. Don't forget to hit that big thumbs up and tell me that what you think about the content. But until I see you again or see you in the live streams, make sure you go watch this video. You're going to really like that one. And until I see you in the chats, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.